all right welcome back we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outer worlds um this game has been out for a while but i figured i would go ahead and, and play a little bit see how you guys like it we're gonna probably play it on supernova but this did come out in 2020 that's an open world action rpg and it's made by obsidian so let's go ahead and strap in let's go ahead and take a look at this game like I said, we'll uh, we'll play it on. I played the game before um, on my other consoles, but we'll go ahead and start a new game. I never played it on Supernova, but I think this will be a good challenge. It's the hardest difficulty. It can only be selected at the start of the game. Um, and the reason why I'm picking this is because I want to do like the survival portions of it, where you have to eat and drink and sleep to survive. So we'll see how that works. That's pretty good. Texas, good right there. Let's go. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right, let's see what we want to do. We got strength effects, melee weapon damage, and the amount you can carry. Just get one on that. Affects melee attack speed and range weapon reload speed. Definitely want that. Temperament. Perception. And intelligence. That's good. I want one in definitely dialogue. If we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. Stealth, sneak hack, and mock pick, or ranged. I was going to do ranged. The handgun skill decreases weapon sway while firing at the beginning. Bodies, tools in the universe. Each point in tech significantly increases medical engineering and science up to 50 points. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly. All right, so I think at the beginning, we'll probably go with um, stealth. 
You had a hand in everyone's pocket. That way we can try to sustain ourselves since we have to worry about eating, sleeping, and everything to survive. Uh, we'll go with that. And then... Drink effect duration block, persuade, shock damage. Food effect, no. Medical plus one. I think I want to do persuasion. Handle bits for a living, huh? We won't go with that. his name gonna be his name is gonna be let's go we'll go with that all right let's go let's see what happens you guys let me know what y'all think about the build. Y'all think uh, if there's some uh, stats that I need to focus on, let me know somewhere down in the chat. If there's any other games you'd like to see me play or take a look at, uh, let me know as well. And let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's get into it. Yep, we're about to start the game with this character. I still haven't figured out if I want to just go all out crazy. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Uh, just regular, but we'll see. Likely bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 
Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Alright. Looks like we're about to go ahead and make a landing. Trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Yeah, Shame about the whole on. squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Alright, we're just looking around to see if there's anything we can pick up right here. I thought he may have some uh, stuff on him that we could get from him. my damn ankle. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Oh, 
<sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Yeah, you gotta be better than that, bro. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I'm gonna intimidate him. Yeah. You sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right, I'm off, bro. Nah, I did have a playthrough where I shot that dude. <laughs> I shot him right here. Like, I didn't think they would let me. And I was like, let me see something. And I ended up shooting him. And I shot the two people that's going to meet me out here by the ship. But I think I got like a bad rep for that one because they said, I guess somebody can see it. I'm not sure. But... Uh, you get to survive this time, buddy. Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Tactical time dilation, so we get to slow it up to RB. close I forgot I'm on this hard level uh yeah that was rough let's see how this uh let's see what this eating and everything is Down. Need to eat some food though.
So I played this game before. When you don't have to worry about eating and um, sleeping and everything, you get encumbered because you have all this extra food on you and you don't use it. Alright, what do we need to do? One. I think I need to... I need to get this freaking... Um, I think we need to equip this. Now how do we use it though? Oops. All right, how do we swap weapons though? Okay, there we go. You hold Y. We're gonna try this out. good all right we just ran his pockets let's go ahead and get this one all right so the melee is not too bad it's like a couple swipes with this machete it's a wrap maybe this is the route we need to go You came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just landing violation. Let it go. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, he'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh, do Spacer's Choice guards uh, back down from a challenge? Intimidate. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. 
seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. That's the way Here to go. go. You guys go and do it. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and... challenge me bro <laughs> a little reckless but I get the job done let's see what happened to them Did they not make it Cause I did see she had a, a rifle that I'd like to take if she didn't make it. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know if they made it. Those two dummies didn't make it. So they got killed by that. Where'd the other two bums go? I'm trying to get some high ground to see if I can see them from up here. Yo, they just dis disappeared. I was going to try to take her rifle. She looked like she had a sniper rifle. I was going to take it. We're going to go on the ship and see what we got here. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I'm not picking no box, bro. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Mar please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do, self-destruct? I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jetstream procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You realize we're on the ground, right? If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Captain's a rare smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. 
Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yep. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. All right, I thought I'd find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll uh, be upper management material in no time. All right, let's see what we can do here. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills, spending a skill point. When a core skill melee improves all the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50 after 50 you can add points directly to specialized skills all right so i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna try to just fix one of them like get um well these two i think and we have 10 available so let's go Oh, yeah, we'll hit these up. And then I want to hit medical. Two. Then we got we get to pick a perk. Health negotiator. You become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been a born as a cargo hauler, traveler. Resilient. I think we need to do. We'll go with health first. All right, this is our main quest.
So we got a perfect block. What is that? So I guess we need to, we have to pick these. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Yeah, why, yeah, why'd I have to pick the lock then? These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. All right, we're just taking a look at the facility, so. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay, I just want to see what's up here. Get to know the surroundings before we get out here. All right, let's go climb down this thing real quick. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I'm just saying that. We gotta just do a little quick inventory. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Oh. Alex installed it himself. Nice. We right before he died. Good place to respect. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. All right, so we got already, we got a way to fix up our weapons, respect our skills. Oh, okay, that's right off of this. Is there anything else I need to do? What can I? Uh, I'll be back. Goodbye. All right, let's go out and see if we can get to this town or whatever that was over there. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Seems to me, they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? The guards accidentally brutally shot themselves on patrol. Man, I won't talk to you. Here. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. I could use their gear, bro. Eh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Let me ask you a question. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery.
Uh, you're thirsty and you need to drink. You must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Assuming a non-alcoholic drink will clear your thirst and prevent dehydration. Without drinking, your dehydration will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your dexterity, perception, and intelligence. All right. Which one is... Oh, this is what I asked for. Consumables. We need something to drink. Better get my man in shape if he's gonna be thirsty like that. Okay, a sensible attack while sneaking. Let's see what this thing can do. Something is pristine. Go over and check out by this water real quick. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Some creatures down. There. I don't think we're ready for that. try to maintain our ammo so that's why we won't be using this melee a little bit more than normal 
We can talk to Silas over here, he said. Supposed to be over here by the graveyard, but I don't see anybody. Dang, I wish I could get some of this water, huh? Put it in the canteen. All right, we made the edge water. Let me just take a look around. He's kind of thorough with this. to be repaired. stuff I didn't got but I caught him slipping all right let's go into town now and see exactly what's going on in here They got a whole bunch of stuff in the back. I think we need to get some water though. See what this person's talking about. What up? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Okay. Snitch. 
Let's look, what do we have here? Edgewater. What is this? Church. Hey, bro, what's up? Move along. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Talking to who? I need that. Somebody's in hey the there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. Let's go talk what to this vicar. To what's up, bro? Vic, what's good with you? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Looking for a power regulator. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Why is that? Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. All right, handsome sum, you say. Tell me more. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out, and um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for the book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Nah, we got to do this stranger in the land. What is this? Find the power regulator. We got to do that. He gave us a side quest already. Where is he at, though? He's across from the Saltuna factory. All right, let's go see. Where are we Sorry, at? Though? I'll just be a minute. Wandering around, what is this? I'm not gonna touch that. I don't know what that is yet. Probably mess around and get killed. I like that it's letting me go all over the place though. Maybe I could trade or sell that stuff. All right, let me go see who this guy is. I 
Is there anybody around to see me steal this? Oh, a vending machine. All right, we need, uh, how much money we got? We need water. Fast ration pill. Pure water. I need the max, baby. Two of those. Weapons and stuff too. It's not the best choice. It's the best choice. Is there anybody around to see me take this? Because I will take it. I feel like I'm getting set up. <laughs> Let's see who's in this. Oh, there's stuff right here too? Hold on. Let me look on this side. Oh, that's the other side of the where we just came from. Put that on somebody. Oh, look at that. You see that? See me at a crate right there. Right over here. Oh yeah, my man got a nice jump. Look. Oh, we gotta make that. Come on, bro. Oh, come on. Definitely going in this office. I know I gotta be in a spot. I ain't supposed to. Oh, let me get out of here, bro. Let me go talk to who I'm supposed to. 
Then we'll uh, see what's next on the agenda. Monkey Argo? I'm sorry. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the town boss. I'll wait until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old sorry I i'm sorry i'll i'll do better and i do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as bess personification of company property is strictly contrary to the spacer's choice code of conduct my apologies i am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row now what can i do for you uh we can start with introduction i'm reed Thompson. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for the Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. All right, what do I need to do? The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, I'll see what I can do. How will I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Oh, these workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, I'm out, bro. It says, in supernova difficulty, you must sleep on your ship every day to 
to prevent exhaustion. Without sleep, your exhaustion will get worse over time of four stages, your temperament, intelligence, and strength at each stage before eventually death. All special choice employees are required to get a minimum of two hours rest every day to ma maintain focus. So are we getting tired? You gain a companion. They are characters that join you and your adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with their inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. Yeah, so we're going to build this right. So whatever I'm good at, you're not going to be. We're going to make sure that we use your skills opposite of mine. Let's go. Come on, Pavardi. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. I should have ran this thing solo. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Girl, you just said let's talk. What's up? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. This is about deserters. So what's the other side? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. The town's got issues. How well did you know the deserters? You worked with them? You were friends or what? Did you know Adelaide? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. All right, how well did you know the deserters? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around. Asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. He says, you can't leave it at that. Why were they reading? Why were they arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. All right, I'm sure deserters are, are fine people, so what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. All right. I suppose it couldn't hurt. I met the vicar. He asked me to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. I don't know. What do we need to talk to him about flipping the switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. All right, so I suppose it couldn't hurt. Let's go talk Thanks, to Vic. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. All right, let's go talk to Vic. Then we gotta go, uh, Vic is this way. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. 
Jovic, we back, bro. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, oh, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. I haven't found your book yet. Please get it. You seem pretty concerned about that book. A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. All right, she wanted to talk to you about. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. Not anymore. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you think? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Hmm. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. How did you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who, for some reason, doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Quite inappropriate for a vicar, isn't it? I'm a bit surprised to hear you dismiss your parishioners so casually. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Mm, isn't it your job to raise that? Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Hold on a minute. Did you just refer to this town as miserable place? Yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more... And I will continue in my quest to make it so. What spiritual advice do you offer? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. What else does it stand for? The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. How do you talk to this Grand Architect? <laughs> you don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Hmm. What's there to aspire to? We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. 
the future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Alright, that seems unlikely. How does that work? Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. I just thought of something else I need to be doing. All right, bro, I'm out. So we didn't talk to the vicar. I think we need to make our way back to the ship. We'll go back to the ship and we'll uh, see if we... I don't know how we rest if the quarters are locked up, though, but we'll see what happens, what they say. Can I give her a weapon? All right, what does she have? She has... All right, she's good. Reed asked you to deliver a message to Adelaide. All right. So we got a couple quests to do as well. Oh, we can hit Y and switch weapons. Good. I thought I had to scroll through the, the wheel to do that. today just helping this fella yeah tell him to mind his business we got to go back to the to the ship before we get too tired Get in the way, bro. You almost got your head knocked off. You was about business, though, so you good companion. Shouldn't have been so close to the ship. Oh, there's some monkeys over there. Oh, wow. If I've been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. No, this is mine. Freaking thief. How do we go to sleep, though? All right, so I don't think I can get any rest until till we get the power thing, right? Because the quarters is closed off. Mm. 
Yeah, we gotta get that done. But we're gonna go ahead and save here, though. New save. And we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. When we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and see about getting the uh, talking to um, Adelaide, and then we'll go for that book so if you guys have liked this episode so far you guys let me know uh hit that like hit the subscribe share the video if you know anybody that likes this type of content i do appreciate you guys coming and checking out the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one